Y'all share this motherfucking video, Nino Brown live. I'm out here in rainy ass Miami right now. I got some shit to address, because if she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. Hoes is winning right now. And it's time we break this motherfucking interface. It's time we break this motherfucking interface. These hoes winning right now. Share this motherfucking video, Nino Brown Live. Share this motherfucking video, Nino Brown Live. Bitch, I'm finna go in today. I'm finna talk about some real shit. She could, any bitch could give you some head, booty, and cock. But not every bitch gonna pick up that motherfucking phone and follow them directions when you call and collect. Share this motherfucking video if you fucking with Nino Brown right motherfucker now. Somebody need to hear this shit. Nino Brown is live. Because if you got a real one in your life, you need to understand that it's a drought out here in the streets, man, on real women, man. And see, I'm going to tell you right motherfucking now, bitch, you better hold on to her, bitch. Who the fuck raised you around this bitch? Share this motherfucking video, Nino Brown. Share. Share this motherfucker video, Nino Brown, around this bitch. And it's still on they hood. Smile. Ooh. Watch this. Any bitch can give you some pussy, some motherfucking ass, and some motherfucking head. But not every bitch gonna pick up that motherfucking phone and do as you say do while you call and collect. See them hoes gonna try that shit Cause you was good to them in the script club You would take care of them You understand me? But goddammit After two or three motherfucking business days go by And they gotta get ready for the club They gotta go script for the tip And Craig you ain't out here to throw the money no more Get what they gonna do Bitch they gonna hit the number nine on your fuck ass Cause you keep calling collect When they trying to go live around this bitch Shout this motherfucking video <laughs> Share this motherfucker video, bitch. I'm finna go. Shot! 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 This motherfucker video, bitch. What's up, God? Check this out. See, these hoes, they'll fuck you. Yeah. They'll fuck you because you come to the club and spend money. They'll take care of your fuck ass. They'll look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, goddammit, Shannon Shaw, something. Let me tell you something. See, they'll, they'll fuck you, right? But not every bitch going to pick up that motherfucking phone when you call and collect and take the motherfucking orders, go pick that motherfucking money up while you can't do it. Better get you a real one because if she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. You understand me? A man's greatest motherfucking strength is his woman. You only strong as your weakest link. And your woman, if you ain't treating her right and you keeping her vulnerable, get what you doing. Bitch, you making her weak. Because you going to make a nigga just jump right up in that shit and just tell her whatever she want to hear and infiltrate your fuck ass. See, you got to understand, a real woman going to pick up the motherfucking collect calls every motherfucking time. She don't give a fuck. About no motherfucking friend. She don't give a fuck if she at work. She don't give a fuck about no club. She don't give a fuck about no going live. She don't give a fuck about no shy this motherfucking video. Bitch, when Craig call, it's whatever Craig say do. Cause Craig lying to her while he in jail, bitch. Trump me now. Trump me, bitch. Trump me. I'm gonna give you the game. Shy this motherfucking video. Bitch, shut this motherfucker, bitch. I'm finna go in tonight, bitch. Woo! Check this out. See, a real woman is hard to run by, dog. A real woman, dog, they hard to run by. It's it's a drought in these streets, man. If you in this new era, new millennium shit that we coming up in, in the land of the internet where these hoes fucking for the followers, they ain't even fucking for the dollars. They don't give a fuck if you got no money. If you got followers, a bitch fucking you, you in a fucked up era, see? If you got an old soul, all these new motherfuckers in this new era look like clowns to you. Because you come from a real era. 
And see, that's what's going on with me, see? Watch this. Everything in this new motherfucking era look like a clown to me. Because I just can't get jiggy with this shit. You feel me? Y'all share this motherfucking video. I'm finna get real on it. See, you gotta understand. Any bitch could fuck you. But not every bitch gonna pick up that motherfucking phone when you call a collect in a jail facing 10, 20 life because you done did some sucker shit and them people trying to hide your fuck ass. Yeah. And, and, and little mama gonna take them calls and do what you say do. Them hoes gonna hit the number nine on your fuck ass. And if you ain't ever been locked up, the number nine is the block button, bitch. Shout this motherfucking video. Share it twice if you have to, bitch. Trump me now, bitch. I'm finna go in today. See, women are more loyal to a nigga in prison than a rap nigga on tour. Cause these niggas on the street be motherfucking lying. A nigga in prison, he tell you everything. Some of these niggas in prison get married in prison. They relationship lasts longer in the prison facility than they do on the street. You gotta understand this shit, see. They know for sure when you in that prison, you ain't got the, out there in them streets slanging that motherfucking mushroom tip. But when you out here in the motherfucking street, bitch, you got down, yeah, free willy. You passing out that dick like a cucumber in the motherfucking public, bitch. At the Kroger, bitch. Share this motherfucking video. Smile. Ooh. Share this motherfucking video, bitch. Share this motherfucking video. I'm finna go win today, see. One thing I, I, I learned is this, man. See, if you cheat on your woman who giving you pussy, who putting food in your motherfucking stomach, putting money in your motherfucking pockets, yeah, giving you a shoulder to cry on when niggas fucking you over in the street, you can't be motherfucking trusted. Because this bitch loyal to you. She doing something for you. But if you just out here just giving her nothing in return and she giving you everything she can offer, and you just fucking her over, man, you'll do me the same way. See, I don't trust no nigga. I don't trust no nigga that just do wrong by his woman, dawg. Because if your woman sleep next to you, your woman done bad kids from you, you understand me? Your woman done did everything you told her to do, and you just want to fuck her over? What the fuck I think you going to be loyal to me for? I can't trust a man that turns his back on someone that did everything for him. And he can't keep his mushroom tip in his pants. I can't trust your fuck ass. If you cheat on a woman, putting food in your stomach, Lord to you, ain't giving out that pussy, keeping her juice box in her motherfucking sundress, bitch. Feeding your fuck ass, yeah, cooking baked beans and hot dogs every night. And you cheating on her? Can't fuck with you, cuz. Cuz you a shit on me. See? You gotta understand. That mean when you ride with me, dog, and we go to prison together, or, or, or I go to prison, I fall off, you understand me? I can't do what I used to do for your fuck ass. Bitch, you a goddamn, bitch, you a jump ship. Cause that woman loyal to you every day. She ride with your fuck ass through the mud. For you was anybody, she was with you. For you were anybody, she was with you. Bitch, she bought you your first pair of boxer, bitch. You was ride walk, sleeping with them shitty ass drawers every night next to her. She bought you your first pair of clean boxer, bitch. The only pair of Versace Kevin Klein boxers you got come from her, and you doing her wrong, bitch. I love you too, Charlotte. I'll be out there next weekend. Fuck with me now. See, you gotta see. See, what you gotta understand is, man. A nigga who cheat on his woman a jump ship on you because he ain't got no loyalty. Loyalty is something in the heart. Loyalty is something in, it, it, we got to go off our gut and our instinct to know if you loyal because some of these niggas just ain't been raised right, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sick of this shit. See, it's so flaw. You understand me? To, to, to even know that a nigga do his girl wrong thinking... See, you supposed to elevate your girl so high, my nigga. Them women in the street don't mean shit. You understand? She supposed to be looking at them women like, bitch, fuck you. I don't see you. My man love me. You got them hoes in the street feeling like they better than your woman. You sleep next to this bitch every night. What kind of nigga you is, man? How can I ever look at you like a real nigga? 
Shine this motherfucking video. Dominique Stubblefield, what's up, baby? Nina Morehouse, what it is? Joy Tyler, what it is? John Lazada, what it is? Ooh. And see, this is another thing I wanted to address, right? If a nigga would expose a sex video of his ex trying to put her out there because he done fucked her and shit and a nigga knew you were with her fuck ass. You better believe that nigga will write a motherfucking statement to the feds, bitch. That nigga will write some names down to the feds. If you come around me talking about, man, look at Lakeisha, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, look, look at Lakeisha. I fucked her and this is how she look. Nigga. You will put some names down for the feds and you won't think nothing of it. Bitch, you gotta understand, that ain't real. Just cause the nigga tell you, my nigga, yeah, that's a hoe. That's this and that. Man, when you got down, get out my motherfucking face, I'm in her inbox, bitch. Bitch, I just seen what that head do, what that mouth do. You feel me? I just seen what that mouth do, bitch. You feel me? Bitch, I'm finna go get in her inbox and get my mushroom tips up. Fuck you talking about. Trust me now. Woo See, I don't get what they don't get is this, right? Ray J was the first nigga that went out there and say he fucked them hoes first, right? And then after he taped it for the world could see. Every nigga stood in line after him. Football players, rappers, movie stars, basketball players. Come here, Andy Mike. Basketball players. And every motherfucking other nigga in the country was trying to stand in motherfucking line next for Kanye marry her fuck ass. That's what you gotta understand, man. Why Ray J out there talking about, yeah, bitch, I hit it first. Yeah, bitch, I hit it first. Guess what? Niggas got in line for that shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nigga wanted to see what the fuck that shit was hitting for. You right here thinking you exposing the bitch. Bitch, what you gotta understand is Ray J should be your template, not the exposure bitch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cause every nigga was in line from Kanye to Kim uh, uh, to Chris Humphreys. Nick Cannon, Justin Bieber, all them niggas fell. The game, all them niggas fell short of the glory. You understand me? Because Kanye went and got, lost his goddamn mind, his hair color, and all that when he married that tired ass hoe. You got to understand, Ray J, the first nigga, Ray J Dick made they whole family famous. When he came out there and said, I hit it first. When they got there and seen what Kim K head was like and that pussy was like, Man, them niggas stood in line for that shit, my nigga. Nigga flew that home private jet. Now that hurt worth a hundred million dollars, my nigga. And you out there boycotting uh, broadcasting your whole Mean Lee, what's up, baby? Malcolm Walker, what it is? Ray J broke. Kanye next. You better understand what I said when I said I get it for the low. Bitch, I ain't playing. So, see... All you niggas doing when you broadcast a bitch is making niggas want her more. See, a nigga will tell you that hoe ain't shit and be all in her motherfucking inbox and her DM saying, what's up with the night? What you doing? I heard you don't fuck with Craig no more. I heard you don't fuck with Craig no more. He out here telling niggas, you this, you that. Yeah, niggas will do that to your fuck ass to get some of your old pussy. Nigga want what you done had around this bitch like you had something special. So you better be careful what you go around here tell, telling niggas. See, I don't get why these niggas so flawed, man, but real is real, fake is everywhere. And the more real you become, the more unreal the world gonna appear. You feel me? The more real you become, the more unreal the world gonna appear. See, I understand that I come from a forbidden era where all these niggas with rainbow colors in their hair, wearing these tight ass anklets and, and, and shit all on they. I, I, I don't come from that. I don't come from that. So that look full gazy to me. These niggas look like clowns to me. Cause I, I don't come from that. You understand me? And since real, since you real niggas, you understand me, know that, y'all gotta understand, man, you can't condone that whole shit.
You can't condone that whole shit. See, real ain't amount of money you got in your motherfucking pocket. Real ain't how much jewelry a nigga got on. This don't make you real, my nigga. Real ain't the clothes you wear, all that Versace. Real is determined by a man's heart. And since God has yet to produce an instrument that can determine a man hard, we got to go off our gut and our motherfucking instinct. That's the only way we going to know if a nigga real. By our gut. Because you real and real is real. Fake is everywhere. You going to know if a nigga real or fake. When he come around you, you going to read him well. Because he moving different. He talking different. He just don't sound real. Why you think? When they pick a nigga up, he's still innocent to prove it guilty. Because you know why? The truth is, they still got to be judged by motherfucking, yeah, judged by 12. You understand me? 12 people got to judge to see if you really innocent or not. And that's how I go on the street. Because God ain't producing an instrument to tell me if you real or fake, bitch. Y'all share this motherfucking video. And since you real niggas out here so real, why you ain't around your son and your daughter? Father's Day is the most underappreciated holiday in the world, my nigga, because it ain't many fathers out here. See, it's mama's babies and, pop and papa's maybes. See, you got to be here in your kid's life. That's what make you real. Every real nigga I know trying to find an exit out the motherfucking street. Nigga ain't trying to be here for the rest of his motherfucking life. You around here thinking you real cause you told pistols, selling dope, yeah, fucking these hoes and doing all this shit, whatever you think is that you think is real, but that ain't real. This rollie don't make me real. That's just that's just trophies, my nigga. This shit here, this just trophies. But what make a nigga real is his heart. Real ain't how many niggas you kill. Real ain't how much dope you done sold. That ain't real, my nigga. Real is determined by a man hard. What would you do for your niggas when you get some money? How you helping people? How you treat your girl? Is your life in order? That's what made John Gotti real. That's what made, yeah, Maya Lansky real. Yeah, some of these names I'm naming you might gonna know. Big Meats real. Southwest T real. Because you know why? They dig for their niggas and they provided an opportunity and a way for everybody to get money. A lot of you niggas don't know nothing about this shit. You talking about you a boss. You in the mob. But my nigga, only one winning is you. The only one getting money is you. You right here showing off shit all the time. I ain't never seen Pablo Escobar with a bunch of money in a video. But he was making 60 million a motherfucking week. 60 million motherfucking week. But you ain't never seen him hold money to his ear. But a nigga who get by $5,000 for the month, bitch, he coming out. Four day in the morning for the chickens get up. For Takashi went over there on O Block. He up in the morning. Goddamn got money to his ear letting you know he getting money. Real is real. Fake is everywhere. Y'all share this motherfucking video. Brittany Cohn, what's up? Jen Williams, what's up? Love you, baby. L listen, Cleet Mountain, what's up? Uh, Jay Singleton, what's up? Where y'all from? Ming Lee, what's up, baby? And since y'all niggas so real... Since you niggas so real, how about you tell me, since you talking about you be moving dope and selling dope, selling pounds and keys and all that shit, and you know about so much grams and how many scoops of motherfucking... Hold up, bitch. Uh -huh. Woo bitch, they tried to take me out, but watch this. If you niggas so real and know so much about grams and ounces, how many scoops of motherfucking Similac go in a four-ounce bottle, bitch? If you niggas so motherfucking real and you know so much about grams and ounces, how many scoops of Similac go into a motherfucking bottle, bitch? If you don't know about that, you don't deserve nothing for Father's Day. Because there's some mothers out here deserve gifts for Father's Day. They in there taking junior, care of Junior year round and all you do is send your little two cent once a month. And you think that's raising a child some money. That ain't real, dog. Real is real. Fake is everywhere. Be there for your kids, my nigga. Get your priorities together. Because at some point, you got to face the reality and be a man. 
A lot of niggas wanna be street niggas all they life. A lot of niggas wanna be, yeah, real niggas all they life. Thug niggas all they life. But man, my nigga, when you get by 30, 29, 30 years old, it's too late in the game to go to prison. Can't go to prison no more, my nigga. You gotta be out here for your motherfucking family. Fuck the dumb shit. You feel me? Jay Taragi say four scoops. Desiree, Desiree Rice say two scoops made eight ounces. That's about right. French Taylor Nash say my son is everything. Amber Samba, what's up? See, Father's Day is the most overlooked holiday in the country because all these dead beat ass daddy niggas. You gotta be here for your kids, my nigga. Father's Day this Sunday, what you bought your daddy? You need to go to readabusiness.com right now and get one of these Who Raised You shirts and make your daddy wear it. Cause your daddy raised you. If you're able to see your daddy every motherfucking day, I want you to go to WeTheBusiness.com right now and get you a Who Raised You shirt. I want you to go to WeTheBusiness.com and get you a Who Raised You shirt if your daddy was in your life. Right motherfucking now. Make your daddy wear it. And when you look at him on Father's Day, I want you to read it to him. Daddy, you raised me. Daddy, you made me. You feel me? Because it, it ain't too many real daddies out here, my nigga. You feel me? Today I'm going to be taking calls too Make sure y'all call me 786-310-3112 I'm going to be taking calls when I get off here all day I'm going to be I'm talking to the business owners only I'm letting you know right now I ain't talking to niggas all day well, Man, my nigga, yeah, my nigga I'm trying to get my shit together Twisting this hair Nigga, I'm talking to business owners I'm talking to rappers that want to be something in life I'm talking to niggas that's trying to win 786-31 motherfucking O. 3112. Charlotte, I'm going to be out there next. Uh, I'm going to be in LA with my nigga Kevin Gates next week. We got a big pool party. He got his first show. Y'all get ready for that. Make sure y'all motherfucking subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Nino Brown 305. Make sure y'all go to motherfucking weedabusiness.com and get one of them who raised you shirts because your daddy raised you and he made your fuck ass. Bitch, he made you be all the hoe you could be, bitch. And he back in your life, bitch. Ooh. Make sure y'all share this motherfucking video. Amber Sanford, what's up? Vicky Lewis, what's up? Yeah. Marquise uh, Davis Sr., what's up? Monique Shannon, what's up? Siobhan, what's up? Art LaFrance, what's up, baby? <coughs> he say, what shirt we could get? Yeah, 786. 3103112. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure y'all get that, man. Yeah. I love you too, Tina Smith. Love you, baby. Woo! Like I say, if there's so many real niggas out here that know about motherfucking grams and ounces, how many motherfucking grams and ounces going to a motherfucking four ounce bottle of Similac? I mean, how much Similac going to, uh, y'all pardon me, bitch. I just got through smoking, bitch. I just had this girl hit me talking about she hungry. I said, what kind of phone you got? You ain't got Uber Eats on your phone? She said, no, you know, I got an iPhone 10. You know the one they show on TV? I got an iPhone 10. I said, how much the iPhone 10 cost? She said, it cost me about $700. I said, well, you better, you say you hungry, right? She said, yeah. I said, you better turn that phone over and eat the apple off the back of that motherfucker. Cause what the fuck you doing with a $700 phone and you ain't got Uber Eats on your motherfucking phone, bitch. What the fuck you doing with a motherfucking phone? Bitch say she got a $700 iPhone with the apple on the back of that motherfucker. Bitch, you better turn that bitch over right now. And woo -woo -woo -woo. Don't call me about no more. Better go sip you some Similac, old baby bitch, you. I don't want no shit out you. Talking about she hungry. Got her new Galaxy Samsung's. Tens. No iPhone, no 10, bitch. Get your ass out of here with that $800 ass phone. But ain't got Uber Eats on that shit. Turn that bitch right over. Bitch, every apple I seen, even the iPad, got an apple on the back of that bitch. You better eat the apple off the motherfucker. And tell them, call your insurance claim and get you a new phone and eat that one too, bitch. Because I be damn, I pull up on your fuck ass and give you some of that food, bitch. Give you some of this Similac, bitch. Shine this motherfucking video. Make sure y'all call me today. I'm picking up the phone. 786 
310-3112. And also, I'm finna go to the studio tonight. I'm, I'm doing intros. I'm talking on people projects. If you won't need O'Brien on your project, talking that gangster shit, talking that motivational shit, inspiring the people, man, you need to inbox me right now because I'm going to the studio tonight and I'm doing features and I'm doing inboxes. I mean, I'm doing uh, intros, outros, and features tonight. Before I get ready to go to California. Man, y'all make sure y'all have a happy Father's Day, man. Y'all make sure y'all share this motherfucking video. Y'all make sure y'all buy y'all daddy one of these shirts. Who raised you so he can look at you on Father's Day and wear it. And you can say, daddy, you raised me. You forgot. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And make sure you hold your woman down, dog. Hug your woman, my nigga. I'm telling you, dog. Don't wait till you get old and great to, to uh, get a woman, get your woman the time she deserved. See, a, 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 a hoe want money. A hoe want money, dawg. She want purses. She want the shit that cause materialistic things. But your woman just want time, love, and attention. Your woman just want time, love, and attention, my nigga. Be there for your bitch, my nigga. Stop being out here for these hoes, man. You can't be community dick for the hoes and give your bitch that probation shit. See her once a month. Ain't no time for that shit, my nigga. Ain't no time for that shit. There, my nigga. Shot the dad's diligence on this motherfucker. What's up, nigga? Shout out to uh, OG Beefy Low, nigga. What's up, nigga? Over there on 21 First and Locust, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Ke Kevin Gates, my nigga. What it is? Shout out to uh, OG, OG Westside Ken. What's up, nigga? Love you, nigga. Out there in Africa, nigga. Just got there in Jonesboro, Africa. What's up, nigga? Love you, nigga. Y'all make sure y'all go to WeTheBinners.com and get these motherfucking shirts, man. Treat your woman right. You only get one real woman, dog. God bless you one. And, and, and if you get another one, you're lucky. That means you was a good nigga. Cause boy, it's a drought out here on real bitches, man. WeTheBinners.com. Share this motherfucking video. Share this motherfucking video. Ooh.